okay now we are going to talk about the angiosperm and gymnosperm when you talk about this uh angiosperms and gymnosperm are the two groups of seed producing plant so when you talk about the angiosperm and the gymnosperm okay what is the first point gymnosperm yes we can say that so both are going to produce the seed for sure and these are the vascular plant what do you mean by vascular plant xylem and phloem are there properly maintained over there okay so these are the angiosperm and the gymnosperm will be there so when you talk about the first point in angios angiosperm they are flowering plant they are what flowering plant they are what flowering plants so obviously flowers are there in case of angiosperm gymnosperms are non flowering they are what non flowering they do not produce any flower so when you talk about angiosperm flowering angio flowering this is non flowering now reproductive system in flower should be there okay this is angiosperm this is a flowering plant what is flower actually the reproductive part of the plant so obviously if the flower is present then reproductive part reproduction is done in where in flower but here reproduction is not done because no flowering plant is there then reproductive system means cones via via cones so they perform the reproduction via cones we'll study that so right now i'm just giving the idea about the difference then we'll talk about that now seeds enclose within the ovary where in case of angiosperm angiosperms are what seed coated within what ovary if suppose this is a flowering plant okay this is a ovary right this is a ovary what going to happen if in future this is got fused what going to happen seed will be there but apart from the seed it's coated in a ovary this point is very clear here unenclosed or unenclosed or we can say naked seed are there here is what naked seeds seeds are naked means what there is yes yeah, seeds are naked over there then in case of angiosperm the leaves are flat leaves are what flat leaves will be there okay in case of gymnosperm what do you think leaves will be needle like okay they are needle like needle like okay they will be needle like one now in case of that seasonal life cycle is going to happen why flower production is there right so seasonal life cycle they following okay i will give you just outline don't worry this is what seasonal seasonal life cycle they are following okay seasonal life cycle and this gymnosperm are evergreen always remember they are what evergreen they are always evergreen they don't need any cycle for the thing now has a triploid tissue angiosperm has many how many tissues triploid what is triploid yes t3 will be there in case of gymnosperm what do you think haploid should be there so it will be haploid very good so you know about something about this okay haploid tissues are there pollination in case of angiosperm flower is what is pollination a transfer of pollen grain from correct that is very correct okay so what is happening exactly in this case in angiosperm pollination by animals wind and water and uh, what is that pollination transfer of pollen grains kahan se kahan ho raha pollination by animal the animal is a biotic one okay wind is a abiotic one so those both factors are responsible pollination by animal and birds you can say or the insects sometimes be there and obviously water here pollination is only by wind they are depend on the wind pollination they follow the wind pollination wind pollination okay so when you talk about the angiosperm you should know the flower should be there these are gymnosperm non flower major difference is seed is enclosed within the ovary in case of gymnosperm here 
that is not enclosed they are naked one there is no covering over there in case of gymnosperm okay now in case of angiosperm what is the wood is formed as a hard wood angiosperm giving rise to what hard wood and obviously the gymnosperm give rise to soft wood very good okay so we have covered this now let's take an example of angiosperm like apple is there maple is there rose so in case of angiosperm rose is there then we can say maple plant plant is there yes hum maple yes 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 and obviously walnut see can you say the hardwood walnut is a hardwood so walnut is also example of that these are the examples in case of gymnosperm what will be the example yeah i will tell you that what is exactly okay what is hardwood i was just going to show you some images okay now in case of what pine and cypress is there pine and cypress can you see that they don't get flower at all they just continue keep on growing yes yes needle like structures are there okay that's the thing so we have cover the difference between angiosperm and gymnosperm i want you to write this okay you already written okay that's 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 absolutely fine just give me one second